Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Undermine. The game is out of early access, 1.0 releases here. And we are going to pop on in with a new save file. I played about 250 hours of this, but like I said in my last series of it, we're starting from the beginning fresh here. The game is a roguelite, so there is indeed meta progression that we will not have unlocked. We're going to be starting fresh from the beginning, seeing it all anew with the fresh fully updated version peasant i have an important task for you as you have noticed this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes i need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors and there is another thing our blacksmith has gone missing and without him the forge lies dormant if we are to delve deep into the undermine we will need some s someone to forge new equipment find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors now off with you peasant Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. So here's my vibe. They they added the uh, the final boss to the game. I don't know what it is, genuinely, and I'm going to try as hard as I can not to spoil myself. I've always gotten bad vibes from this man. Like, just literally immediately. A book appears to be missing. Okay. Artifact discovered. We got the journal. We unlocked our tab menu here. But anyway, yeah, it is a, it's a roguelite twin stick shooter, I guess. I... Uh, Keep that journal with you, refer to it if you ever seek to answer a question. But yeah, effectively, twin, twin stick roguelike. I, you know, wouldn't call it a shooter. We have our swing, we have a pickaxe throw, and one weird thing, you know, slightly different than other top-down twin sticks. We have a jump, so there is a vertical, a vertical element to the dodging. There's never any, like, uh, vertical platforming. Like, you'll jump over pits and everything like that. Nothing down here yet. Nothing over there. Nothing up. Oh, wait a minute. Nothing up here? Yeah, okay. So, we will be able to see what's behind this door now. After uh, after we collect all the seals by beating all of the bosses. So, this is going to be... It, it kind of plays like a Binding of Isaac. Or like a... Uh, I guess like an Enter the Gungeon. Something like that. Uh... But there's definitely a lot of elements that be more familiar if you've played, uh, like, Rogue Legacy. Because you will get stronger every time. Like, can I win this first run? Yeah, but it's gonna be hard. Hold on. I want to check something real quick. I'm pretty sure, isn't there, like, a, a little secret secret? Literally, immediately. I'm pretty sure there's something right here. Yeah, that's a, that's an achievement. That's an achievement right there. And here we get a little bit of crystals. We can use these to unlock uh, items and upgrades for our character that will permanently make us stronger. Give us either more HP, damage, throw damage. Because swing damage and throw damage are separated here. All kinds of different stats and wacky items and synergizing things. Uh, we should get another, yeah. They give us another bomb. They're not going to make it so we literally can't complete the tutorial. Hold on. Is there something special with this skeleton? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah. So you do have to collect like a whole bunch of gold. That will be used to uh, to get upgrades as well. Gold will unlock upgrades like your, uh, your swing damage, throw damage, and HP. And the gems, the purple gems we got, will unlock new items that you can pick up. Beware of the pilfers, they're thieves. If you leave the gold on the ground, these guys are going to come and try and steal it from you. Over time, you will get different unlocks that will let you uh, pick up gold faster, uh, retain more gold if you die, all kinds of stuff like that. It is very much uh, a game that will you'll build on yourself over time. Sometimes you drop meat from your enemies. But I do want to say there is a very good mode that we are certainly, like, after we've played the game quite a bit... We're probably going to mostly be playing that mode. It's called Other Mine, which is a more traditional roguelike uh, kind of experience. Well, more less permanent progression upgrades. You will uh, you you lose all the permanent progression upgrades. You start at square one and you get upgrades uh, slowly over the course of the run. There's there's no permanent progression stuff in that mode. So if that's something you're interested in, it is very much uh, a way you can uh, you can play the game as well. And I truly, personally, I love that mode. And I am excited to get to that point eventually, but first, let's... We're gonna play the game uh, normal style. We got chest, we got some gold. Potion up there. Temporarily increase your health. Item I didn't explain here. We got sometimes drop meat from your enemies. Meat is obviously, you know, could probably take a guess. If you've played most video games, it will restore your HP. 
but we uh we're not like quite invincible when we're in the air but it's it's really really helpful you know it's, it's basically basically we're not gonna get hit there's a couple attacks that uh that have a slightly bigger radius that we'll need to make sure we avoid uh, we also have our canary right here who is helping us. You may notice here, you may notice in the, the adorable thumbnail, shout out Sam Carone, uh, to right here, the canary as well. Shout out to the canary. <laughs> he picks up the gold for us, and slowly over time you see that circle, it's going to level up, and eventually it'll get to the second rank and third rank where it will do other things as well. Second rank, it will pick up, uh, I mean, I guess I should read just in case things are changed for 1.0. Uh, no, yeah, we get more gold. The gold we pick up is just worth more when it gets the level up there. This pet just levels up by picking up gold. There's all kinds of other pets that we will slowly unlock over time. We don't got right now. There's just so there's so much to explain, so much to do. But honestly, yeah, if you played a lot of roguelites, you're going to feel at home here. Uh, right here we got Transmutagen. It transforms all relics in the room. So... If you don't like an item, you can buy that. Like, an item that's going to be on the floor in here. The tent. Adds a tent to the starting room of floor, one use only. So this is an item that makes it so there's a tent at the beginning of the floor that if you go in it, you heal up to full health. It's not a, it's not a bad item, but for the sake of science and showing off, it's, you know, it also doesn't really make us stronger. And I want to be uh, stronger for the memes. Increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. I believe it's temporary and only for the room, unless they, of course, changed it. I know that the, yeah, the final boss is in the game, and there's all kinds of other changes that I'm excited to explore and find out. But also just playing the game uh, from start to finish again, I'm just really, really, really excited because they, oh, I got <laughs> first damage of the run of the series even. And it's by walking into electrified water. So that crystal, uh, right there, it electrifies the water, obviously. But if we break it, we get the ability to uh, electrify enemies while we have that. I mean, currently, it doesn't really mean much of anything. See, I don't really remember this. What's going on here? There's the mushroom man, I think, in here. No? No, there's, there's nothing? All right. Well, here we are. Hello, my boy. Oh, hey there, friend. Name's Waylon. I'm the blacksmith. I was just down here picking up some mushrooms. One of those quakes caved the entrance right in. It's cool. I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. I drop by my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll kit you out in the best gear. I can also craft blueprints if you find the, any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in that chest over there free of charge. All right, see you soon, pal. Bye, boy. By the way, if you can afford it, I suggest buying that pickaxe on the rack over there. Dude, fine job on that one. Okay, see you again soon. All right, so here we go. We got a free item blueprint, Wayland's boots. I believe those are the ones that make it so we don't take damage from spikes. It, it has been a little while since I played, so... And I did that on purpose so that this would feel exciting and fresh again. So we got the sturdy pickaxe upgrade. That one right there you saw with the plus. Uh, here, let's open it up. This is a thing that will carry through every single run. This is a permanent progression upgrade. If you see it over here, it's a permanent progression upgrade. It will help us out in every run from here on out. These are all items that when you die in the run, you will lose them. There's also, yeah, there's a whole bunch of new items. Oh, man. That's, honestly, that's always some of the most exciting thing for, things for me. Tons of new items, huh? Yeah, quite a, quite a few. Hand, definitely a handful. Right at the end, I saw a, a decent amount that are apparently supposed to change the game quite a bit. Once again, trying to be, I tried to be relatively unspoiled here, as much as you know I can. Uh, we have 65 bucks. We do want to conserve some money if we can, you know, to take to the uh, the shop, the meta progression shop at the end of the run. I really like. I'm genuinely very curious how far we are going to get today because you are not intended to beat the game on your first playthrough it's a it's an achievement that is uncommon it is a very uncommon achievement to uh, to beat the game and that's saying like i don't even know if there's uh where the final boss 
plays in. I don't know if you uh, beat the bosses in the game like normal. There's a, We got our first meat. Honestly, I don't think I want it yet. I think it heals... I don't know how much it heals right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> 20. There we go. For science, I wanted to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where the final boss is going to uh, to really show up. I It may be after the, the normal final boss, but it also may be through that gate right back at home. I really, I genuinely don't know. So we got a bunch of bombs. The reason you see me throwing my pickaxe at all that stuff is because later there is a permanent progression upgrade that lets you pick up gold and, <laughs> gold and items using... <laughs> You're throwing pickaxe. I'm not just the dinkus. I am a dinkus, but that's not one of the reasons why. I forgot what this guy does. Is this Dibble? Dribble? Dobble? Dobby? Dobby's a free elf? I'll try to make Dobby a free elf. That's right. It's the rock pile mimic. Right? Yep. Okay. I actually am not sure <laughs> it's been forever this is one of the only bosses that you don't really fight again but i'm imagining he's not going to be too complicated oh he broke my freaking bomb i should have went and get picked it up rude man it's definitely like safer to be using the throw but right now it is definitely doing a oh heck more damage whoa the swing, honestly, I don't know that it's doing enough more damage that it will be worth it. That safety is important. We could obviously throw out some bombs on them. They do damage enemies, but honestly, they don't do a ton. Oh, we crit for 30 with our melee swing. Let's get it, baby. What do you got? But anyway, I'm going to take this to this very opportune time while I have you in this exciting combat to tell you that I am a, I am a primarily roguelike YouTuber. Put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day, and you can definitely expect daily undermine videos. So, hey, do a subscribe if you uh, want to be notified for when that happens. Get wrecked, rock pile mimic. Oh, heck, I thought... <laughs> Get wrecked me! Oh, he... He, uh, he let me... He let me know he wasn't having it. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah. Very, 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 very excited to play this game more. Back at it again. What do we got? We have Gold Tooth. I believe that item heals us when we pick up gold and popcorn, which will du sometimes duplicate keys and bombs that drop on the ground. And then the prisoner key. That's for you. Dobby's a free elf. Oi! Thanks for the elf, friend. Very glad to be out of that cage. Headed back to the top. Don't trust that wizard got nowhere else to go. Make sure to pay me a visit. I can upgrade those firecrackers you call bombs. Why don't you just blow yourself out of the cage? Oh, yeah, because you'd die. It's a small cage. Never mind. So that is the bomb boy. I feel like the bomb upgrades are some of the ones that I don't care about quite as much. There is, like, light. Like, and by light, I mean, I think there's only one kind of Metroidvania-style element where uh, you will get bomb upgrades that let, let you blow up a certain type of rock that you otherwise can't, uh, can't blow up. And you get it from that guy. So we paid one bomb right there to get over here. We do, do know that this is a gold chest. Has all kinds of gold. Should be quite worth it. Hup. Hup. But yeah, de definitely curious and a little scared of how far we are or aren't going to make it today. Do we want to use a key to get in here? Almost always, yes. Ah, uh, it's a new item. Increased max health after eating food there was quite a there, there was a kind of a lack of um on unique trigger effect items and i believe that that's what all of these uh major relics are or uh the constellation ones at the bottom i i kind of got light spoiled that they're all off trigger effects i think these these ones no those ones so I'm excited about that. There are secret rooms that if there's an explosion in a room, there will be sparkles that show off where they are. There very much could be one in this room. I kind of want a bomb just to see if we can find out if there is. There's not. Unless that's some meta progression thing you unlock and I forgot. <laughs> but anywho, 
uh, in the same vein of the self-promotion uh, slight annoyance thing, I, I apologize. If you want to hit the like button, it is genuinely, like, people always say it, but let me tell you, they say it because it matters so much. If you hit the like button, it, uh, it'll really directly help out this series if you like me or you like this game. Doing that takes half a second, and it, uh, it helps both of us at the same time. It shows me to people who like the game, and it shows the game to people who like me. So if you want to see the game succeed or you want to see me succeed, hit it. If you want us both to succeed, boy, it's a BOGO deal. Buy one, get one free. You get to support two things at the same time. But anywho, back at it again. Self-promo over. Delete the, delete the self-promo. Don't worry about it. There's one more thing we'll, we'll talk about later, but I just, like, I can't, I can't possibly stomach, like, three self-promo things in a row. So I'm just gonna leave you hanging. <laughs> uh, we got, uh, I think we can actually jump on this and slide down the back unless they changed it. Hey, he got hit anyways. I, I got hit anyways. You don't need to get hit. You can do that without taking damage. The thing is, since they're on the spikes, these pilfers can't grab them anyways, so we are totally A-OK. -okay. This is a an improved meat here. It's going to be, in fact, that's the highest level of meat. There's a fish above the normal meat that you've seen already a couple times. And then there's that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for in case we take like real big boy damage. Boom. 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 <laughs> I'm over here, I'm over here, I'm over here. But yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna scale up to a pretty tough degree near the end of the hmm, okay near the end of the run. I'm genuinely very terrified. But it is what it is. We we have the achievement for doing it. New item adds a point of armor to the health bar. I mean, yeah, why not, right? Okay. I, so armor is uh, it's a different different type of health. It will negate one hit, no matter how much damage it does. It will negate one hit. Whoop, whoop. So if it's uh, if it's two thousand damage, it's the same as if it's one damage. Could be good, could be bad. If we walked into the uh, to that fire right there, it obviously would have been stupid. <laughs> we would have we would have lost the armor literally immediately. So this right here is what I was talking about with the secret rooms. You can kind of tell secret rooms will always be in wall situations where there's no uh, no blockade or vines in front of it. I'll hit that bomb right there. So you can you can like feel it out. You can figure out some secret vibes. Uh, there's oh there goes our armor. But we have that point just sitting up there still. So we could. Fill it up. All right, so we can. <laughs> eh, I don't think I want to fight him. You that that is uh, the place you're gonna go after you've defeated the boss. You get the key from the the boss, but you can, and there is even an achievement for doing this. You can fight them early, and uh, basically you can kill them for the key. Whip. Oh, God, we didn't even need to do that. Kill them for the key. It's a little bit of a uh, a harder fight. Honestly, probably not necessarily a much harder than the boss fight. But, eh. All right, so we have the boss fight coming up. Hmm. The question is if sh I should leave my meat on the ground right now. This is a long time, actually. You know what? That that lasts a long time. I'm going to do it. Can we get it up to 40? We can. D did it start anew? Like, did it refresh it? I'm liking this item. 40 extra health right now in the beginning of the game when you don't have any upgrades. That's pretty substantial. I don't know if it's a percentage or if it's... What? I, I have no idea. Uh, percentage of your max HP could be like 10% of your original per meat. I don't know. Let's take this and let's go on down to our first boss fight. Hello there. 
We got Selt, Queen of the Sand. She is uh, our first boss here. Not too, not too bad. Not too bad. She summons some baby adds. You can only hit her in the bottom. She also kills her own baby sometimes. I didn't do it. Whoop. But the bosses are, uh, for the most part, super pattern-based. Uh, oops, this one even has like a little you know, ha half secret where you can make her eat a bomb. Runs up here, takes some extra big, huge burst of damage. Whip. Don't think I really want to waste another bomb on it. I think I'd rather just work on making sure I just dodge these attacks. Breaking these before the baby spawn is pretty crucial. Oh, that was... I could have taken damage there for sure. I don't know how much damage we take <laughs> when we get hit right now. Because there's there's such a thing as... Unless they've taken them out of the game called summoning stones, that you... Uh, they're effectively like Slay the Spire Ascension levels... Or New Game Plus, and New Game Plus, 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 Plus. You can just keep on going forever. And uh, the enemies start to, the bosses especially, start to do some pretty crazy damage. I believe there's points where they, like, if you just scale up eventually, I think they'll just one-shot you. But I imagine right here we could probably take, like, four or five hits or more. I don't know. I think, I think the first few floors are going to be really, really generous compared to... Uh, what I'm used to. Pop. Alright. My guess is maybe I'll... I don't know. Maybe I'll get in trouble on, like, the fourth... The fourth zone. There's five... Five major bosses. Five major bosses. Four zones... Or four floors in each zone. Oh heck. Oh heck. Yep. I Okay, so that tells you how much uh, how much damage we take. Not too bad. Not too bad. And get out of here. All right. 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Yeah. I'll take it. We get our first fragment. This is what's going to go in that door back at the start. Sells egg. Honestly, it sucks. <laughs> don't even know if it's worth explaining. Selts blood. Honestly, kind of sucks. Don't even know if it's worth explaining. It, it, they both effectively one lets you summon a baby, a baby selt uh, egg at the beginning of every room, and then one makes you summon a bunch of uh, selt eggs when you drink the potion. So you have the key. Let's talk to you first. Oh my! You have the key to the dungeons. Go, go right on in, madam. Where did you get that key? Oh, well, I guess go right through. You're not gonna like what you find in there, though. Pop it open. I do kind of want to do, like, a little bit of due diligence in the shop, because I f genuinely forgot what was in there, and we have a pretty, pretty hefty sum of money. Pretty darn nice amount of money. Yeah, I'll take the meat. I'll take the bomb, too. 50 out of 2,075 Pisha, basically. Pisha. All right, but if we, uh, oh man, if we keep up this pace, and I can't imagine we'll keep up this pace, it's gonna slow down as enemies get healthier and tankier and spookier and scarier. Uh, we we got a long run ahead of us on a success, which, as I will continually state, <laughs> ooh, a golden pilfer, golden pilfer. See what we can do here. Oh! Okay, so they drop money if you hit them. If you hit them a certain amount of times before they completely run away, they will drop a blessing. Blessings are the uh, the good side of a very interesting system within the game. There's blessings and curses. Blessings are, you know, what you would expect. It's a, it's a blessing. It's helpful. This one does more, makes us do more swing damage. There are also curses that have... There's one for, like, the inverse of literally every blessing. And there's also some more uh, complicated and, and tumultuous uh, <laughs> curses that screw you over in fantastical kinds of ways that we will surely find out soon. I don't know if we even have altars unlocked yet, which is where that stuff is going to be really, really prevalent. This, by the way, is the uh, type of rock I was talking about earlier. We will not be able to blow that open until we upgrade our bombs. Oh, heck. 
God, I can't wait until we get a throw range upgrade. That never seems like a big deal, but it is. Come here. Whoop. This guy takes half damage to throws. That half damage to throws, you want to... As uh, spooky and messy as it is, you want to melee him. Oh my god. How much health? Yeah, we're already we're already getting in trouble. We're already getting in trouble. Do they, like, is the game, ex does it expect you to maybe probably die to the first boss on your first run? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I wonder what the expected first death is. So here, this is an altar. I'm probably not going to use it right now, but I'll explain what it does. We can drop an item off right now, and it will carry over to the next time we find this altar. So basically, if I wanted to... If I put this here, I would lose it on this run, and I could maybe trade an item from another run in the future. It's basically... It's the take a penny, leave a penny of, uh, of roguelikes right there. So don't really want to do it right now because I kind of want to see how far I can get with the stuff I have right now and I wouldn't I would not gain anything oh it's a oh, it's a marked rock these marked rocks are not permanent unless once again unless they've made changes oh god whoop it's, it'd be really nice, but there are there are rocks that you can blow up to find secrets, but they're not all going to be marked like that. I think that was just a... I think that's just a very generous way of teaching you that it is a thing without saying, try to blow up the rocks, you know? You might find secrets if you blow up the rocks. It's just like, here you go, here's an X. X marks the spot, I mean... All right. Oh, there she is. How'd you find your way in here, madame? Madam, you can't be here. This is one of the kingdom's most dangerous criminals. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Hmm. Did we get that key from, I can't see, here's the thing. It's been so long. I can't remember if we get that key from killing them or from a boss or from what? Like I, I genuinely, I don't know where we get that key. Like, almost certainly we could fight them to get it, right? Let's go to the shop first. It almost almost always has a key. We never even used our health potion. I just, I have too good to use syndrome, you know? I'm like, I don't really want to use it because then I'm going to need it later. Ooh, another new one. Temporarily reveals secret rooms. Secret rooms can have secret rooms. Okay. Temporarily when? Temporarily right now? Okay, so that's probably right there is almost certainly where we've got our uh, our key, right? Oh my god, how did I not get hit by that? Oh no. They're healing each other! Oh my god, I don't do enough damage! I don't do enough damage to kill them! Thank you, thank god, okay. Now we're good. These are some of the more annoying uh, enemies that I that I think are in the game. These guys, you have to, you can't hit them while they're electrified, and I'm a very impatient man. And the other ones obviously are uh, are healers, which you know, you I don't need to tell you how that can be annoying, especially this this early on when we don't really do more damage than they heal. Can be tough. Oh heck, that's Dibble. Dibble or dribble, double dribble. So we need two keys to unlock him. He is like a little bit of a, a, a baby shop that we can get items, oh my god, before our runs to potentially make them better. I'm going to pick this up. I don't want to lose it. I'd rather have the temporary health up than nothing. Oi, 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 oi. Donk. Okay, good. I'm gonna miss some gold on the wall. You don't need to backseat it. It's okay. This it's not gonna. I, I promise you, it's not gonna make a, a big difference in the long in the long haul. Backseat. I mean, backseat if you want, I guess. But I, <laughs> it does. It just does not matter that much. Like, it'll be okay one way or the other. Uh, is there a way we can do this? I can't remember. No. I, I think we need to. 
break the rocks. There wasn't there. There's some way we can do this without spending a lot. We don't even have any bombs. I don't think. I don't know if there's a way to do it or not. All right. So we're probably not gonna get uh, double dribble, double double dibble. Let's see, that one was hidden behind the menu. That one was that one was a sneaky little sausage right there. Okay. Uh, I think I might go and put on my potion and try to fight these sons of guns. Bath cat and toad vine? It's okay. They'll come back. Oops, sorry. You know, I don't want to be the one to say this, but that's just like a lowborn to do something like that. Madame, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No, we don't get to fight him. Someone ought to teach that filthy work some manners. Someone ought to teach you what a proper level of retaliation is. That was appropriate. Oh, man. We wasted our potion. It's okay. I guess the, the potions don't last that long right now anyways. I just want to double check to make sure we can't go in there now. All right. So clearly we need to find a, a way to get that key in another situation. I... It might be behind that, even. But I, I could have sworn that that is, um... What's his name? He's a sleepy guy. He gives us a little bit of a, a movement speed out of combat buff, and it lets you teleport between floors. Kind of like Tunnel Man style in Spelunky, or elevators in Enter the Gungeon. Boop. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my last self-promo thing, because it's been 30 minutes, and I feel like it's... I feel like it's probably okay. I just want to say a shout out to Justice Tom for uh, for supporting on, on Patreon. That is why my name is Justice Tom and not one of the randomized ones. Well, first of all, it's not Retromation if you thought you could, you know. If you knew you could put in custom ones, uh, it's certain people on, uh, on the Patreon. If you support at a certain level, you will get your name on a peasant throughout the series here. There's a link in the description if you want to figure out more. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it helps me do this as my full-time job at a time where, uh, where things, you know, can be a, a little bit more trivial so it, it's, it's super appreciated but never expected you get your name on a peasant though if you if you do want to support and like i said link in the description for that i say no more whoop there we are now we're done with the self promo until literally the end of the video which hopefully if things go well it's gonna be in like an hour but i don't even know if that's possible right now honestly it has not really gotten to be too tough yet wait what Wait, what? Boss is locked behind a key? It's got to be like a mini boss type thing, right? Is that the gauntlet? Temporarily reveal secret rooms. Secret rooms can have secret rooms. Temporarily at the start of the floor? Uh oh, uh oh. I don't like this. I don't like this room yet. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. Okay. All right, I don't know who, who to even fight here. Probably you. This guy's a punk. He's got one of the few attacks that can actually hit you slightly off the ground. It's not too much. Well, you are. Oh, my God. From beyond the grave. I did, I, he got me good. I did not expect it. I did not expect it at all. He got me good. I feel like I'm getting a lot of money. I'm like, this feels like quite a bit. And let's actually pick up the potion, too. How much is it? 400. And I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll buy the food. I'll buy the food. Gets us to uh, the 40 HP, max HP upgrade for whatever this boss fight is. It's it's not the second boss fight. It's, I'm assuming, a mini boss. I, is it the gauntlet fight? Is it the... Oh, God. This fight is actually... This fight is actually kind of a nightmare for right away. I think this is where I bet you most people's runs end. This is, uh, I'm glad they put a, a, a skull on the door so people know what they're getting into now. We're, we might genuinely die here. It's, these are, oh, these are really like late game enemies. 
Okay. Really, really late game enemies, and four of them you will never see in the same room, even late game. So that's why they're kind of taking the place of like a mini boss. But honestly, it looks like they might have gotten an HP nerf. They will restore HP over time here. They will always shoot in a, uh, a plus formation, either whoop, vertical or horizontal, never diagonal. So you can uh, you can fight them pretty easily once you know what their uh, their pattern is. But boy, oh boy, as a new player, these guys suck butt. Suck butt. I am curious. I, a question a question of the day. On your first run of Undermine, if you remember, where where did you die on your first run, if you can remember? I beat the game! Great. <laughs> I beat the game on my first run with my eyes closed. The key whispers to you, there is no room for false gods. Okay, so we, um, we kind of got unlucky with the location of the prisoner. I know that you can get them on a uh, later part of the, the dungeon. Boop. Now that I... It's, it's, it's all coming together now. It's all ringing a bell. I know you can get them on a later part of the dungeon. I think this key will stay with us throughout our runs, though. I don't think we need to do that fight again. So, we just will not be able to unlock that, that cage this run. But I think, you, I think you can. I think you can get lucky enough to, to do that. We have no bombs. Down we go. Our canary level up to rank two. At some point there, way back when. Yeah, it looks like we get to we get to find secret rooms for the beginning of each floor. That seems like a pretty good item. And the fact that se secret rooms can have secret rooms is nice. It's a nice meme. It's a nice meme indeed. A fun thing that I always have loved about other mine, undermine. Wow, I played the other mode so much so much that I totally just called it by its mode but uh, one thing I really like is a thing that may be hard to get used to as a new player unless you are familiar with old like roguelikes and yes I said roguelike uh, where all the interactions can be done to either you or the enemies like right there we can get hit by this uh, this, and take 20, whatever, 20 damage, and then we take a fire damage debuff. Or we can also make the enemies do it. But also, you can make items take fire damage and slowly disappear. Why would you want to do that? You wouldn't, but you can. It's like, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, system where it's, it's tough but fair in that way. It's like if it's an if there's an interaction you would expect, like it's it's gonna happen. If a, you know, like if if it happens, it can happen to the enemies. It can happen to you, and it's it's fair. It's fair in that way. Boom, 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 boom. Pop him! Oh, we almost got ah! Uh, almost got to do it for free. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get to the dungeon uh, secret area again? With the lady in the uh, in the cage, that'd be great. Because honestly, she she has, I believe she unlocks the altars, which is one of my favorite systems in the game. The altars are places where you can get either blessings or curses, or uh, well, rather, you get a blessing, but to get a blessing, you have to also take a curse, or you can trade HP to remove a curse, and it pro provides some of the most interesting dynamic ways to strengthen your character I've seen in a in a roguelike or roguelite uh, and I, I just I really genuinely very much like it uh, and I would love to see it it's very very soon I would love it if we could get in on our next run there's also all kinds of different pets there's no different characters that you play as in this game but that's kind of what the uh, the pets take the role of there's different pets that have like wildly wildly different effects oh should i do this we have to do it to show it off so this is a cursed chest we just got a major curse oh my god i think this is a really bad one okay yeah let's pick this all up and explain it in a minute cost health to use a key okay so yeah now it costs health to use a key that just that just sucks. It's not uh, use health instead of a key, which I think is another curse that I actually kind of like getting. 
it straight up means, yeah, we uh, we have to use health and a key. We don't really have a way to get keys, though, unless we get lucky with a secret room. I believe there was a... Oh, God, where was the secret room? Where was the secret room? It let us know. It told us. It was not in the starting room. I don't think it can be here. But this is... Here's the secret rock. Ah! Okay. We can indeed go back. Please don't tell me it costs health to use <laughs> to use this key too. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, kind soul. I've been here for longer than I can remember. Have I been granted pardon? Is it true? I and return to my duties. Are we sure this peasant has the authority over the prisoner's release? Uh, she does have the key. My child, I will return to Arkenos. He and I shall have some, <coughs> some matters to discuss. I will see you again up top. Thank you again for freeing me. Bathcat, darling, would you uh, do me a favor and teleport me to Arkenos' chamber? <coughs> Sorry, my voice was... Oh, had to get that cough ready there. Had to get it all out. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, one moment, ma'am. You just do anything you're told, don't you? Well, I don't get paid enough to stand around guarding an empty dungeon cell. I certainly don't get paid enough to stand around with you for any longer than I have to. I'm out of here. Just don't hope. Just hope the king doesn't have my head for this. Hey, hey, sir! Wait, wait for me, sir. All right, cool. We did it. We freed her. And oh, we got a key! Oh god, I can't wait to get that upgrade. I can't wait to get that upgrade. It's so helpful. So helpful to just pick up stuff with your throwing axe for not wasting time. There's also some situations where it can save you from maybe taking damage by walking over a spike or something. Uh, you can just throw to pick it up instead. For the most part, it's really just like a uh, save yourself some time situation. Why did I want a key so bad? This really was not that big of a deal. Just doing that. How do you there's a there's a key for the map isn't there to make it bigger zoom map c okay yeah we should have used the key down there the heck is that bobble there can't i don't think there can be secret rooms on that these sides here that, oh god, I wanted to look. Just wanted to make sure. There wasn't a secret room right away, was there? Was there? Am I that dumb? Did I forget? Okay. Secret rooms can be in secret rooms. Uh, it doesn't say secret rooms will be in secret rooms. It can't be off here. It would be off there, if anything. I, I'm kind of just leaning towards leaving. I think that might be a good idea. I don't know if we have any way to unlock armor. I don't know if we can get armor. Big random guess. No. So we may have purchased those greaves even though it literally can't. <laughs> it literally can't give us another point of armor. We just paid however much money to negate that one hit from that flying enemy like floors ago. Uh, you know what? I want to keep myself alive. We also got a couple things I want to talk about real quick. We got the wealth blessing a little bit ago when we picked up this curse. It increases just our gold income. Helps us out, you know, we just, we will get more. Um, I don't know how much gold we lose when we die. You lose quite a bit though. Uh, you can slowly get upgrades that'll make you lose less when you die, which is really, really helpful. Uh, what else did we get? We got an item, didn't we? Oh, we unlocked a recipe for for this, which makes it so you do not take damage from your own bombs and increases your bomb damage. We're on dungeon four. So this is going to be, if we can clear out this floor, this is going to be our second boss. Oh, man. Yeah, the, these runs are so chunky when you're, uh, you got no upgrades. Got this bomb here. 
Let's use it while we still have the ability to see the sparkles. Because I will... Eh, will forget it exists. Hold on. Watch this. Now we have the ability to get fire on our pickaxe, which we can use to light these torches. And... <laughs> That requires three keys. Often there's some really good stuff in them, but boy, that uh, that hurts. That hurts the old heart. Okay, pop them, lock them. Boyo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's no way to get that up there as far as I'm aware. Wait, with the fire, can we? No. I don't think we can get that. There is ways to get flying. There was a potion really early on that we passed up, that one that was kind of like... Uh, light bluish, and it had little sparkles in it. That is the one I'm... Oh, that does indeed give you flight. So, oh, I want to show off. You can also cook food by hitting it with a flaming weapon, which we temporarily have. It makes it heal for more. Which is really, really nice and important to do if you can. Uh. It's one of the things that I'll surely get uh, backseated on. Like... Because it, it's one of those things where it's just a, it's a time thing, you know? Like, do I really want to spend my time cooking all my food? Oh, my God. See, and that's the other thing is, is it does make the food a little more frail. I accidentally hit it, and I, uh, now I get no food. It's just like real life, though. Why waste your time cooking your food, right? Just eat it and, uh, just eat it and, and die. You'll never have to eat food ever again. Easy peasy. Okay, so there's another thing here. You can take eight major curses and immediately move on to the next floor there instead of fighting the boss. Once again, there's an achievement for doing so. Yeah, sure, let's do it. So I don't have the fire anymore. There's an achievement for doing so. This item's really dangerous, so I'm gonna say no. One more. Got! Achievement for doing so! But I'm not really, uh... I'm not really in the market for that right now. I don't really care. Uh, I, I, first of all, I already have that achievement. Second of all, it would end the run very, very quickly. It's not like a no guts thing. It's like a, boy, wouldn't it be fun if we just lost real quick kind of a situation? Poison. Um, I don't know if we can, e I, I think this boss might be immune to poison. I'm not even, sh I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. There might be a way to bomb our way into that key, that locked room right there. If we can bomb ourselves into this room and then below, that could get us in without having to use a key. We could use two bombs instead. I don't know if there's a secret room up there, though. That would be very ideal. No, there's not. I can tell you there's not because there's no room on the wall for it. Uh, heck, I think we just, I think we should just go while we still have this buff to our HP. The extra 140 HP is really, really good right now. All right, here's more to the Charged Golem. He's a, our second boss here. You can break these orbs to do really good damage to the boss. You can also hit in the arms. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not a lot of damage. The main way of fighting this boss has always been making sure you, uh, you break the orbs, though. Okay. I might, I might die here. Can be a trickier boss. Can be a trickier boss for sure. This is risky even standing there because, yeah, he starts to move afterwards. We will do burst damage when we break an orb. He'll take, like, a huge chunk of health. But that's not right now. Hold on. The music was too quiet. I, I, need, I need the adrenaline. I need the bump in music. I need the bump and bump in music. Oh, my God. That was precarious as hell. There we go. Yeah, the boy, oh boy, we are definitely getting scaled out. We are getting scaled out. Hup, 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 hup. I kind of like want to die, if I'm going to be honest, because then we can just come back and uh, we'll have so many more tools. We have like a lot of money right now, like a lot. Boop, bop, bop. Beep up. Ba da boop. Beep up. Ba da boop. Beep up. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I'm just, I'm just getting impatient. Oh boy. Okay. This 
is dangerous. He could totally hit me. Oh, no, he's on his second phase. Second phase here. This is not good. Yeah, I, just one, putting yourself in one bad situation can affect you for quite a while there. Okay. Bop. Bop. Bop, bop. Oh my god. Bop, bop. Oh my god. No. Okay, we're gonna be fine here. Unless we do a very big dumb. There's no more new phases, so it's just this. Just this. Should I even bother breaking an orb? Oh my god. Ah! I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, I'm not gonna even bother. I'm gonna wait for the hand, because I'll be able to break it really, really quickly. There we go. We did it! Second boss done, son! Kill me, run! I wanna go back and get meta progression upgrades. Okay, key to the halls. Ooh, gauntlets. New new item. I can only imagine. Also, it's interesting we don't get the mortar mortar's orb, which is an item. Huh. Uh, the gauntlets are new. I can only imagine it's yet another piece of armor. <laughs> Uh, we have no key? I guess we leave. I guess we leave. 51 minutes. Boy. Boy, we're still alive. 51 minutes. Okay. Another Hall's map. That's the thing that we can unlock the, uh, the fast travel from Hoodie. That's his name. Hoodie is his name. And teleport his game. Uh... He will give us, like, the ability to move quicker out of combat as well, which also actually significantly changes the amount of time it takes to clear a run in a, in a nice way. So, like, as long as we're out of combat, we will move quite a bit quicker, which is really, 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 really nice. Oh, he just did a bit of helpful. So these are Throbos. They are, uh, they are notoriously uh, punk holes. Big old punk holes. They have a crazy amount of health. And have ended at least one of my upgradeless attempt runs. Didn't seem as bad this time. They might have smoothed out the uh, the difficulty curve, the HP curve. They may have uh yeah, smoothed out the difficulty curve. We might be able to like Oh wait, those aren't those aren't fire place things. Cause they added the uh, the fifth zone. I never tried to do the fifth zone upgrade list, because honestly I just at that point I was kinda just like, it's so close to 1.0. I just wanna play that again when it's play the game again when it's out 1.0. Two secret rooms in the same room. Oh, Okay, we got another damage upgrade. There's a whole deal with the devil system in the game as well that I won't really... I won't get into too hard because we're not really... We're probably not going to see it. I think our percentage chance to find it is super, super low. Oh, we already went down there. But there, there's a way to get basically legendary type items, but you need to usually have quite a few curses to make it happen and not pick up too many more blessings than curses effectively. It's that's an oversimplified version of it, but it very it exists in the game. Oh my god, yeah, we got Bob. It exists in the game, and it's a pretty important part of, of the game later, but not 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 so much right now. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell we are not supposed to be alive anymore. The HP on these goons. It's it's starting to get preposterous. It's not quite preposterous, but it's starting to get preposterous. Um, okay, so this is... You know what? If we die here... Hold on. This is this is this would be a very worthy place to die at. Or die because of. This is a challenge. This is the gauntlet thing that is it's pretty challenging that I was talking about. If we beat it, I believe... Oh, boy. If we beat it, I believe this is how we unlock pets. Oh, my God. 
Throw bow! Oh, a piece of armor. Hey! Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so we can get armor. Oh, okay. There's a, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't, uh, you can't drink potions while in the air anymore. I don't even remember what this one does. Throw size. Uh, who cares? It's kind of nice, I guess. It's like... It's kind of like an accuracy up, I suppose. Oh, no. Our HP buff is gone. This is grim. I don't know how many phases we have to fight. Like I said, if we die here, it, it is a totally worthy, worthy, worthy cause. I'll do my best. And honestly, I assume we're going to die to a throwbo this run. I assume. Sometimes the way they run, it just gets me. Okay. Brief break. Oh, God. We've done this already, kind of. Just with a uh, different... One of the gargoyles just turned into one of them spinny, spiky boys. Honestly, he's helping us out just as much as he's hurting us. Maybe even argue uh, he would he's helping us out more than he's hurting us. Sure. Yeah, that potion didn't last long, and it definitely didn't matter much either. Okay, I believe there's one more phase, right? Oh, there might even be two. Oh, no. These guys. Oh, God. This is a disaster. You have so much help. Oh, no, they're out of sync. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay. So these guys are necromancers. We want to break them. Otherwise, the skeletons are just going to keep on coming. Oh, God. I might need to kill some skeletons just to get in. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, God. I'm just going to chase them down so that they'll teleport away. Thank you. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're definitely not supposed to be here. We got one. Yep. Oh, boy. All right. We do have to go through and kill all these now, but I, it was important that we did that. Otherwise, they would just keep spawning. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Do we... I, I think I maybe want to just uh, do my throw, but, boy, that is a... Uh, it's a tough cookie. Okay. Smack him. Pap him. Plap him. Smack him. Okay. Ah, you son of a goblin, man. Son of a goblin, man. Summon son of a little drummer boy. Yeah. 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 Do they add a sound effect for crits? Is that what that... I think they did. I like it. I like it. Please tell me we're done. Oh, thank God. Oh. That was, uh, that was spooky. Okay. Artifact discovered. Dusty book. Tattered book with the name Arcanos written inside. So that... You probably already know if you were paying attention when we started the episode in that room with the bookshelf where it said, there's a book missing. I think you can uh, you can fill in the blank. So this potion lets us teleport to a shop. A different shop. Not, not our current shop. A different shop. This cooks all of our food. We're getting to the point where... Oh, oh shoot, that try, doubles the price. Where I don't even know if I want to spend money upgrading ourselves for this run. And I may want to sacrifice myself for the, uh, you know, the run gods. I don't think we can do anything with that. We may just want to be like, eh, you know what? Let's keep all the money for permanent progression stuff. It also doesn't help that we are really not getting uh, much of any... Wow. Any items that help us out with our damage? Not a, not a lot, at least. We got a couple. This run, like, 
In its current state, I can't imagine we beat the fourth the fourth boss. I could imagine I could imagine a situation that we beat the third one here. I could easily imagine it. So we have our final rank of the bird, which makes it, you know, there you can see. It makes it go mock speed. Mock speed. Key, good deal. Which is really nice. He can also steal the gold out of the pilfer's hands now. Oh god. Uh yeah, we're we're getting towards uh, some annoyingly tough territory, and by tough I mean beefy tough, like chunky chunky, meaty men. Okay. Yeah, keep on keep on stepping on that trap. You'll keep on uh, bopping yourself. Okay, if we don't get the red ones before, like you need to hit the skulls three times. If you don't, they will come back. Yup. We can also... Whoop. I set myself on fire trying to show it off. I set myself on fire trying to show it off. I wanted to set him on fire using the torch because you can do that. Like this. Oh. In theory. It's a good way for us to probably generate some more damage right now since we don't have a lot. And I'm losing my patience, man. Hip. Hip. Good deal. There's all... Oh, my God. All kinds of items I can't wait to unlock. Whoop. Boop. All kinds of good stuff. That, you know, if you if you like synergies and weird, wacky combos, double your bombs. You know what? I'll take it. Should I double them right now? Probably not. Sure. Let's you know what who dares wins. Let's uh, let's get spicy here. It's a baby chest. It's adorable Okay, so that's actually a health potion One more ah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money money for the money gods I just don't really want to have to dodge that guy. Oh, we are doing a lot more damage because of our uh, our low HP throw buff item. So honestly, this is probably the way to play right now. Oops. Plus, I might get bopped anyways at some point here. Just through uh, sheer impatience, mostly. Oop. The red outline means that they're going to attack if you did not figure that out how you know to uh, when to attack these guys especially they can be pretty not uh non-fun if you <laughs> don't know that fact thousand smackers eight thousand smackers <laughs> extra armor i think oh 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 we may we may actually die we may actually die and i wouldn't hate it okay all right i would not hate it at all yeah, this is a n not a fun room when you can't one-shot the bats. Whoop. Smack him in the butt. Show him what's what. All right. I'd rather... I, I don't know. Like, part of me wants to die. Okay, we can't even pick stuff up with our throw anyways. That's right. All right. We'll go back and we'll pick up the heal. We're not going to just die. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's right. I knew that would it would eventually bite us in the butt. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. And yeah, now we're down to 14 HP because our uh, our max health went away. Yeah, that was uh What? Did we I thought we had food sitting around. I guess we don't. I guess I lied. There might be a secret room somewhere here. We got a bomb upgrade that makes us do Uh we can't do anything with that. Makes us do AoE uh, lightning damage. What up? I don't think we can be hurt by the zap part of it. Okay, all right. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna die as we move down to the next floor. And honestly, I I think we got like exactly for the most part the stuff I really wanted to make sure we got. So I'm really, I'd be really really satisfied with dying and clocking out on this run. I would love to beat this boss just to like assert dominance, of course. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to do. But, like, you know, 
being away from the game for a while and coming back and beating the whole thing on the first run. Spooky tough, spooky tough stuff. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. We should be doing like really quite good damage with our throws, you would think. It might have something to do with our max health too, though. Yeah, I die here. I die here. I die here. Or not. Or not. Man, I really thought I was. I really thought I was gonna die. When's it gonna happen? So these guys, if you touch three of those little purple things, you will get a curse and take damage. Uh, so don't get hit by three of them. You can also see over there we got some gargoyles who are almost actually certainly where we will die. It's a it's a very unforgiving little layout right here. Oop. So mm, that should be an instant kill. Oh, we cooked the food. Oh my god, we have a chance now, actually. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Alright, back at it again. Back at it again. Oh my god, dang it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm just so stupid. I shouldn't have taken that curse. We, I don't even think we have the curse tags unlocked. No. No, I'm not taking another one. Do it, you coward. You do it. You play it. You, you buy the video game using the link in the description and then play it. So we got uh, Ricochet, which does exactly what you see right here. Makes the shot. Your, your throwing attack Ricochet between the enemies. It's really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Does a little bit less damage per bounce. But this is a, it's looking kind of like a throw. Oh my god, that was a bad way to dodge that. A throw focused run. Because we have that extra damage on low HP. Thanks. Thank you. Next. Thank you, next. We, if you step on that spike, you will activate that little statue and get an extra... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get an extra chest or something. <laughs> How on earth? How on earth? Oh, my God. But a good way, if you're curious, if you're watching this and you're figuring out how to do the uh, the upgrade list run, I will say a good thing to, to know is that you can actually unlock items. You just can't unlock meta progression stuff. So a good way to do it is just to unlock some, oh, some really, really good items and only some really good items. And you'll have a much easier time from there. So these little spider webs, if we hit them, they will actually shoot out some spider enemies, as you could probably guess. Oh man, this is this is a uh, this is a, definitely one way to fight. Yeah, I'll spawn a spider if I gotta. I'm out of bombs. I did the dump. Oh boy, yeah, these uh these summoner enemies are not made for uh for new runs. There we go. Just summon like an unbelievable wave. An unbelievable wave of really, really beefy, beefy skeletons. Who do have some of the like a, a surprising amount of HP for a skeleton. A frail boyo. Still alive, I guess. <laughs> Here we are. Oh my God! You're kidding me. This is a uh, this is a food potion. It's gonna drop three pieces of food on the ground, which are promptly going to all be cooked, and buying us a yet another life in this game. We don't have any bombs to get that secret room over there. All right, Pete. Rip. Okay. I don't know what that symbol is. Is that just saying that this was a uh, this was a secret? Whatever the hell. Secret uh, crawl space. Okay. If we could die to this boss, that would feel nice and poetic. Uh, this boss, the boss for this floor was the final boss for me when I started playing the game. 
they slowly, slowly, slowly introduced more. And by slowly, slowly, I mean, honestly, pretty darn quickly introduced some more. The, the dev cycle from early access to release was really, really packed with great updates. Truly, truly. Yeah, there's, the, there's our boss. Okay. Ah, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it got bopped. I got bopped. I almost fell in the pit. We activated an extra. This this turned into a nasty room. I don't think we're going to die here, though. I don't think this is where we will die. Oh, no, we did. Oh, we got caught on fire, though. We didn't do the bomb fast enough on this one. Didn't do the bomb fast enough on that one. Free item. Oh, my God. Every time. Every time. Here's my question. If the uh, the shop is locked, is it worth it to go in there? So this leaves fire. It's a bomb that leaves fire on the ground. Picking up these gives you one free bomb to use. Oh, boy. <sighs> is this shop? Nope. There's the exit to the next floor. Sitting on 93 HP. I do think that this will be... Oh, this will be the floor where we call it. We could go fight the boss just like right now. Just to try to assert assert dominance. See if like, hey, maybe we can beat this punk. See what we can do that with that, but. <laughs> okay. Alright, bye. I didn't want to fight you either. Oh my god. We just keep on getting second chances and third chances and quadruple chances. Whoop. Thank you. There's our shop. Oh, okay. There's our actual boss. There's our actual boss. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. If we... I, I think we should sacrifice health to get in the shop, right? If it's locked. I don't think it is, though. I think it would say. Pretty sure it would say. Oh, I'm weak. Oh, I'm weak. But this is a really satisfying room and combo right here. Super satisfying combo. Okay. Thank you very much. I feel like 10,000 gold on the first run is really, really good. I think that'll be really handy. Okay. Uh, we would have to take damage on the way out. Because <laughs> the tar makes it so you can't jump. This item, oh my god, makes it so the next time you take damage, instead of taking damage, or like if we were going to take 100 damage, instead of taking that, we would heal 100 damage. So I'm going to save that and use it right before the boss. No, I'm not going to do that potion. So that uh, getting that one potion right there makes me think there is actually a chance. Makes me think there's an actual chance. Okay. So basically this fight. There's these torches right around the corners. They're slowly going to be... Uh, ooh, our damage is not bad. Slowly going to be put out. And Nori takes less damage for everyone that's put out. Luckily, we did get a fire, uh, a fire crystal immediately before the fight, which means we have ways to turn those back on for a little bit oh my god for a little bit doing an oh god I got you you smuggled your hand in your body you jerk doing an okay amount of damage still got fire still got fire good in this game fire represents your life Oop. The less health we have, the more damage we will be doing. So, like, there's a nice little tidbit there. But we're also probably going to lose our, our 200 HP buff. Oh, God, here we go. Can we cheese it? Dude, oh, we did it! No! Okay, so these fireballs can also turn on the, uh, the lights for you if you do not have fire-based items. Oh, God dang it, man. 
Here we are. There we go. We got them all back on. We should be doing more damage with our throw. There goes our HP buff. That's a pretty big deal. Because especially we are in the, uh, the phase of the fight where you can see two hands are coming to get us now. And they sometimes go out of sync and uh, are very, very scary. Can I get this back on? No, oh, shoot. Okay, it's fine. Bait the ball into that. Ah! Dang, nabbit man. Got rocked by that. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, what's this? Should we... This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is... That was such a bad idea. Okay, I... I think we just focus up on the fight here. And just say, who cares about that other one torch? Ah, God! You... I can adjust my chair because I'm ready to die. You had to do it to me. You had to meme me. Okay. One more set of lasers. Yeah. I think we're actually fine. If I would have died immediately, as I said, I think we're going to be fine. That would have been... That would have been something. All right. Well, we beat Nori. Hard to be mad. Hard to be mad. We unlock the other mine conduit. It's basically a familiar lava walkers, which makes you leave uh, fire on the ground as you jump, and then another fragment. Bada bing, bada bow. Let's get out of here, where we will certainly die. No way would we make it. I've heard this cabin's incredibly deadly, and no one really knows what lies beyond that door. Off, uh, off I go then. All right, there's work to do. See you around, peasant, or not, I don't care. For real, though, now we die, right? That's basically this whole run. Like, watch us get, like, a really crazy item. Speaking of crazy item, I think the constellation, the new constellation item has really, really been helping us. Oh, I didn't even let that cook. Really, really been helping us out. Ooh, this, is, this isn't looking new. Should I be doing this? Probably not. Shouldn't probably be investing in the run too much more when it seems inevitable that we're going to be losing. But I look at the walls. The crystals are looking fresh as hell. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm already... I'm already tilted. I'm already tilted by this floor. The HP on these enemies is gonna be crazy. This is basically this whole run is basically you don't belong here. At, after this point, yeah. See that we took 70 damage. 70 damage. If I remember correctly, this was one of the biggest uh, biggest difficulty spikes in the uh, in the game, from what I remember. Okay, just collect all the gold that we can. Collect all the gold that we can. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It won't leave me alone. Ah! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rocked. Maybe like literally too, even. Cat, there's a throw bow. I did say I was gonna die to a throw bow. We'll see though. Not that one. Not today. Not to this day. Do we need to blow up all those rocks to generate that uh, uh, that chest or something? I can't remember. Oh boy. Oh boy. More food. Yeah, the constellation item is probably keeping us like entirely alive this run. That plus the combo of dropping the meat on certain enemy kills. We got like a really good light synergy there. And by light, I mean very, very hard synergy. Very good synergy. Ah, are you the throwbo that'll get me? Can't do my one-two punch combo. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch me, you do 70 damage. But yeah, the uh, the fourth boss summons adds, and those adds have like a crazy amount of HP too. So I feel like I don't think that I am super capable of handling that boss with this build. I had a I just had a gut feeling on that one. You know what? Finally, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's a lot of gold. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Great. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, my God, I'm alive! Deal more damage at, five, at high health. God, this curse is perpetually... Like, I'm not going to not open the fun item rooms just because of this stupid curse. I want to have I want to have a good time. Is that so bad? Okay, I'm not going to do it there, though. I think we actually would benefit from just keeping on moving. So we can keep our HP buff from uh, Ursa Major. Go, Canary, go! Go, Canary, go! Go, Canary, go! Hey! Oh, Mamacita. Oh, God! Bite me! That dodge, though. The dodge, though. Right, punk. You're nothing. Should I do it? I want the. Uh, I don't want to not get an item. That sounds boring. Crits temporarily increase crit chance. I'm loving that we're seeing all these new items. I'm really, really loving it. Watch, our shop is behind a lock. It is. It totally is. All right. Well, we might die in this room anyways. So, if that's the case, tis with tis. So we just crit, so we apparently have an increased crit chance. Oh, God. That stinking... Thing. There's a little, uh, there's a little thing summoning more adds. I just couldn't really... Couldn't really handle it. Oh, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. I'm gonna die. I... What? I can't be killed. I'm at 3 HP. I can be killed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for releasing me from that run. We get to go back and we get to be so much stronger now. It is Oh my god. They do not they do not plan on you getting that much gold on your first run. So I'm pumped. I suspected you would come looking for me. The next run is going to be so much quicker by comparison. First things first, we should definitely get the echo blast that lets us get uh, the movement speed out of combat increase. Hey, it's my bud. You're taller now. I mean, you're definitely not as colorful. Anyway, thanks for getting me hand out of that cave. I cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. Check them out. All the finest quality, I promise. Buy a silent supply to you for and all to you and all your buds. You know, in case you, you know. Uh, also, I can craft relics. If you come across any blueprints in the mines, bring them my way. So we're definitely going to get a little bit of damage up. I think we're going to go across the board here. I think we're going to just upgrade pretty much everything. So we're getting uh, swing speed, max HP up. All kinds of goods. All kinds of good stuff. Throw range up. Let's get a couple throw range ups if we... Yeah. All right. More swing speed or swing damage. We should probably get the uh, gold retention rate. At least one or two. Oh my god. This is this is great. This is great. See, look at how much stronger we're going to be next run. It's going to be... Oh god, it's going to be a dream. It's going to be a freaking dream. Uh, here, let's uh, let's think about this for a second. Let's do that. All right, so there we go. We we immediately got all the way up to six, <laughs> level six crystal pickaxe, five padded vest, five studded gloves, uh, two ranks of the throw range, and three ranks of the drawstring pack. We can also now craft a couple items. We will start with the first one. Whatever the first one is, we will keep it for the next run. Um, eh. 
some immunity. Honestly, Gold Tooth, I think, is a really, really good pickup. The rest of the stuff we won't get right away. It'll just be added to the pool. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add a couple that I don't love. Or, eh. I'm going to add that because it'll be fun to have in the pool. And that'll be fun to have in the pool as well. Just an extra piece of armor. But I'm not going to add stuff that I want to start with. Like, I think it'd be fun to start with some of these. There we go. We got so much stuff here. <laughs> you, are, I don't know if, like... If you're just watching this and you're like, cringe, he lost his first run, cringe, comment section, cringe. Uh, you are not supposed to win your first run. It's a rogue legacy situation, and I'm... Oh, shoot, we should have gotten some of these. Next time, next time, next time. Uh, but I think we did really, really well. I'm sure you like you can... It is 100% possible to beat your first run. 100% possible. Uh, but it's going to be so much smoother and easier the next time to try to. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to take us an hour 20 minutes to get to where we were. And I'm excited about that. Ah, look, Arkanos, another lamb has arrived. Peasant, the others may think you are all the same, but I am not so simple. My rescuer, they are lost to the dungeons, either dead or in prison, a fate you will likely share. Please, Lilith, these peasants have done us a great service and performed a great sacrifice. They deserve some respect. Do not misjudge me, Arkanos. I will help both you and your subordinates, but I refuse to pretend they're anything but what they are. Very well, then, peasant, you must know that your quest and uh, that of your predecessors is a noble one. Lilith and I... Or Lilith has been returned to me, and I am grateful for that. Do not act like I am yours, or that is nothing but a favor. I serve only one master, speaking of which I am here. I am sure you have seen altars spread around the Undermine. These altars grant you power, but you must know their sacred prayers. Take these tomes, lamb, and you too can have his power. Beware the blessings come at a cost. So these are what I was talking about. This one makes it so food heals for more. This one makes it so uh, we attack faster. This one makes it so our throws do more damage. Oops. You can also learn new blessings from her over time. Uh, start with a random blessing. All kinds of good stuff. But let's put on our book that we got on the third floor. And now we unlock Griswold the Collector. Mm, fellow peasant, I'm the Collector. My name's Griswold. Mm, I work for the Archmage. So as you see, I collect creatures from the depths of the Undermine. Many fascinating creatures can be found, all with wonderful attributes and abilities. If you find any hatchlings, please bring them to me. I will cook, I'm, uh, hatch them for you. So now we can start with the Firebird as a pet instead. Honestly, I think I like the Canary better, but we're definitely going to do this. Like I said, these are kind of the characters. We will slowly unlock more throughout the same kind of ways we unlocked the uh, the scrolls but i'm excited for the next run i think it's going to be a hell of a lot stronger a hell of a lot smoother we got three things marked right now already and that is going to do it for today i greatly appreciate any all support you wish to leave on the series especially because it's the first episode uh likes comments mean a ton those mixed with uh, watching from start to finish are fantastic ways to help support the channel in the series if this is something you want to stick around uh, like I said in the middle of the video, if you want to support on Patreon, anybody at the $5 tier or higher gets put on a list of names that will be added to peasants throughout the series. Uh, and you can basically, you can claim a run. That one was mine, basically. That's going to do it. There's a link in the description for my Discord as well, where you can pop in, talk about the game, talk about my channel, talk about whatever you want. And that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you. I will see you next time. Bye.